Hi guys, very good afternoon to all of you. Uh, welcome to the video number 589. My name is Ajay Parmar and uh, you are watching my channel, your channel youtube.com slash c slash Ajay Kumar Parmar and we are just about to cross 600 videos. Thank you so much for your love and support. Now in this video is pretty special uh, today uh, because uh, we are going to do something very unusual thing. Uh, something extraordinary in this and thanks to my subscriber Vikas uh, who has asked this question how to use the VLOOKUP and how to while using the VLOOKUP through the VBA how we can actually make sure that the color of the cells should also you know uh, go and paste in the uh, lookup results right so without wasting the time let me start this MIS automation series number 11 if you are new to the channel and you want to learn more about the automation things, the real projects, please go to this playlist Excel Dashboard Making and I've got 31 videos and all the series 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 you know, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, you'll get there, right? Now, this is the email I got it from Vikas and he said that, Hi sir, hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for sharing your knowledge. I have a query for you. I want to look up the data with the cell formatting like color cell font etc etc please find the attached sheet so i'm going to open his sheet this is his sheet actually okay and uh, so what is happening i'll tell you you see that i have uh, made the macro to save your time but as usual <laughs> i'll explain everything in depth okay so guys this is a fantastic question uh what happens if you look at this I already spoke about how to use the VLOOKUP in the VBA but this time we are not just going to learn the v, uh, you know the VLOOKUP again but we are also going to make sure that if this ticket number let's say 201438 this is this has a value called yes and this value is going there but at the same time I'm also what we need to do is we need to put this color formatting also over here okay so this is what we are going to do so you can see here I've got the cell color exactly the same green one and if you go here this is 66507 so where is 665007 this is the one right so i got no but the formatting is also there so we have to use this a program which can do both the things for us okay and one more thing uh you need to actually also take care of the text color right now you don't see the text color because it is white right but this is not but let's go and make the code right so this is what we are going to do now let's go and start it now guys, before I take you to the uh, VBA code and I share the code with you, I want to actually uh, share the the plan. What is the plan actually? And then we will quickly go and you know start the coding. Now guys, see, generally when you use the VLOOKUP in Excel, how do you use the Excel, you know, VLOOKUP? You say that VLOOKUP and then you go for this and then you go in this table, right? And uh, you pick up the second column exact match and that's it, right? Now same thing we are going to do in the VBA uh, also uh, and we are going to capture this yes, need to call, no, whatever, right? But once we are done with that, the next thing because we want to actually go and, you know, put the font of this, like this is a white font of the, this text, you know, we want to show this font here as white. So what I will do, I will tell the VBA that please select the entire column B and do the control F. Search that in, uh, you know employee ID or whatever it is right so this number will be searched and when you search this number obviously your Excel will take you to this you know particular cell now when you get on this cell you just go and pick up the color of the next cell which means we will use the offset function we will we will tell that all right so this is my active cell this is what I have found now I got to go in this cell which is the neighbor of you know the neighbor of this cell right on the you know exactly on the right side one one column uh, to the right side of this and just go and check out what font it has got what font color and what is the cell color both the things and then once we capture that using the variables we will say that now this cell is equal to the font of this cell is equal to the font what i get from here and the font means font color right like this is the white one and then same time then the next line would be the color of this cell is going to be the color of this cell and that's it so simple right so let us go and start this now you see that let me uh, take you to this uh, visual basic code now this is the code basically okay this is the code so if i run this code quickly see this guys 
I ran the code and you have exactly the same formatting. Wow, amazing. Thank you so much Vikas for the, asking this question, right? I'm sure this is going to help a lot of MIS guys today. Okay, now let's go and start this story. Now guys, uh, I hope you know the VLOOKUP, how to use the VLOOKUP. If you do not know, please go and check my playlist. Uh, Excel VBA functions I talked about there the VLOOKUP how to use the VLOOKUP right now the thing is uh, if I look at this uh, data I have to run this how many times four times okay so what I did is I said that for J equals to four to seven why four to seven uh, because I want the values here right so I want to run this loop how many times four five six seven right I can write one two three four also that's not the problem right but if I use the four then I can actually say that on the fourth row number pick up this and look up in this table right so that is how so that's why to make my loop easy I have used the four to seven right now guys I have created two variables also my cell color and my font color okay I created them as long because the number which you will get from the VBA uh, for the cell color and for the font color they are going to be numbers so you can't declare a string data type okay you will get the error otherwise now let us go and uh, start the f8 so the first i have created these variables right for cell color and my font and there is a j also i don't think so you need to use the uh, this this col i can just go and remove that let me restart the code there we go now you see that this is my normal vlookup guys what we are doing i'm saying that on the row number four and the column number six what is your column number six this is f column right this is what you want to target and the fourth row number is this one right so basically i'm saying that now you have to put a value here in the f4 okay in the uh, in the f4 i want to put a value which is going to come from where which is going to come from my vlookup worksheet function dot vlookup and then vlookup will pick up this cells j comma five what is j j is four you know that right so if the j is four and the column is five what do you mean by that that means you are on the fourth row number and the fifth column so that means you're talking about this cell e5 so we look up now is going to look up this 201438 in my range called b2 to c9 this is your range right this is how you use the VLOOKUP in Excel also, right? I'm not doing anything strange here, right? And then comma 2, comma 0. Comma 2 is your column index number. Comma 0 is your exact match. Now, once you run this program, you should have a value here. Which value? This one. Yes. But you got the yes without cell color and without the font color obviously right now here is a plan now now what i do is i say that now please select the entire b2b column and go and find out what cell j comma five dot value what is the value in the cell this this value if i just show you i put the watch window over here you can see that this is exactly this number which you're actually using here to look up so i'm going to look up i'm going to find this id this id over here and then my function will go and find it out you can see that it stopped in the b7 look at this name box b7 right now you don't have to work on the b7 why you are finding the b7 because exactly in the next right cell you have your cell from where you want to pick up the font color and the cell color okay so now this is my variable so what is my cell color so i'm saying that from my active cell which is b7 please offset me 0 comma 1 that means on the same row number but to the one column right side this is how we write the offset very basics these are the basics about the vba right so interior dot color is the code which is going to tell you that what is the color of this cell okay so you see that i got here some number well i don't care whatever number comes it's okay you don't have to remember that but the number is coming same way now another variable my font color now in the same cell active cell dot offset 0 comma 1 which means from this go to the one column right on the same row number capture the color of the font which is something something i don't know you can see this is a long number right now once i got the cell color and the font color what i'm supposed to do you know my this cell j comma 5 this is this is this cell right so i say that now j comma 6 uh, 6 means uh, sorry not 5 but j comma 6 because you are targeting this cell right f column right so i'm saying that now the cell f 
4 interior color has to be equals to what 5296274 which you have calculated here from this cell so you're gonna have this green color fantastic now the same way on the same cell you now want to say that give me the font color also which you have calculated which is white that is how guys it is now time to go for the next j now what is in the next j now the next j is obviously going to be five so now your this row number five column number six will be evaluated so now the vlooker will pick up this j comma five which you can see here it's two zero one three seven six five zero seven now this number we will look up again in this table and find out what is the status and the status is going to come as no which makes sense to us because this is no now again i my vba go and select the b2b and find out the cell which cell again this one right so once i click here you can see that i'm on the b9 cell look at this guys so this is how control f works you know so i will again capture the cell color the font color so this is 255 and this is now zero okay so this has to be now applied on my j comma six this is the one j comma six sixth column and the sixth number row so i got the color here and i got the the font color also since there is no font color that's why it was showing zero right so this is how the entire process works guys when you press f5 this will take even just seconds right now this is how it is now if i go and change the font of this for example just to do the testing you see that this is the font i have changed and uh, then let's say i go and change something else as well uh, let's say 507 okay where is 507 uh, this is my 507 that's okay uh, maybe i go and change the font of this okay uh, let let me do one thing let's just give this uh, maybe this color okay and uh, i'm gonna give it uh, maybe um this one right now i go and run the code again okay i'm not going to delete this because my code will overwrite everything so i'm going to hit guys f5 let's go and check that there we go can you see that i got here now two whites right this yes and this no so this yes i have got it this no i have got it and this no also have got it so this is how you can actually use the two properties the first property is interior dot color to check the cell color and then to check the font color you can use the dot font color so same way i mean you can do a lot of lot of stuff also if the uh, if the text is italic and that is also something you want to do it so you know go and find out the act itself property that how the act italic thing you know is uh, we can find it out or uh, find out the italic number i mean what is the procedure right so that's how guys this is how the logics actually uh, we build the logics right so that's it for now and i hope you have liked the video and uh, let us meet in the next tutorial thank you so much guys signing off bye bye